the local music show with Tommy Gardner on Revolution Radio 96.1 FM. Good evening and welcome back to the local music show here on Revolution Radio, bringing Northampton together. We're live on 96.1 FM and online, and of course, we are streaming the action. So I need to travel a bit to um, play I live see. gigs, really, and Northampton has become my sp- it sp- has. one of my spiritual homes. Brilliant. I think. Because you, you, you've I've seen you on the lineup with some, you know, lots of familiar names that mm-hmm. have been on the show before. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I was just walking down the street um, at the weekend and I saw Jess Oristano. Ah, yes, yep. yep. She said to say hello. Ah, uh, oh, well, you know, I saw her yesterday. This ah. weekend. In fact, I can tell you that my strap is short at the moment. I'm glad I'm sitting down because of Jess Oristano. Ah, <laughs> directly because of her. Love. She borrowed my guitar this weekend and uh, love that. I forgot to put it back. Yeah. So, so you said um, it's more recently you've decided to go solo. Yeah. What was it that that you know gave you that boost or that decision? Um, I just decided that I ju- I just wanted to do exactly what sure. I wanted to do. Yeah. I just I'd hit a point where I um, the band I was in had kind of broken down anyway. It wasn't yeah. really going anywhere, and I just wanted to. I had lots lots of songs to write sure. inside me. And I, just I imagine bands through. can be quite difficult. Uh, the a lot bands of people. are always difficult, yeah. yeah. And I, I do have a band now that we're just kind of building, sure. Um, but we're playing my music, of course. Which makes yeah, it, makes it kind a of a lot easier and easier. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so when when you're because when you're writing your music and you know you're you're one of those artists that get to obviously write the songs but perform live. Mm-hmm. Do you envisage envisage that live performance element of that when you're creating the songs? There, yeah, there is an element of that, yeah. definitely. Yeah, there's certain... I mean, some. It, it's funny because you've got some songs at one end of the scale where you think, I will probably never perform this live. Sure. And others where you think, yeah, this is going to you know. really, really work. Yeah. And, and it's different with different venues as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it all changes. But, um, of course. And so recently, um, there's there's been some news. You've had a release. Yes. Yeah? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I've been working really hard, and um, this is, I think, the fifth um, single release um, for the forthcoming album, which will be coming oh, out in July. Amazing, amazing. Um, so yeah, we've got um, yeah the song's called "The Time in Between." It came out about a week and a half ago. Wow. Uh, okay. So let's talk about the album, the forthcom- forthcoming album, a little later on in the show. Mm-hmm. But the single that you just mentioned. Yeah. Is there any chance seeing us? You've got a very nice guitar so with you. Guitar. Yeah. Wendy. H- how about a live performance? Sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah Perfect. Up for that. Take it away. Thank Over you very to you. Much. There's a pain that comes with happiness And lingers in your heart A silent flicker hoping for The dreams you dreamt to start And all this empty hoping makes it impossible to see But there's a line that we've crossed It's too far gone for me I hope that one day you will see That I am everything I claim Oh, I'm a mess and so damn wrong for you And oh, so many ways But if you ever want a love that will never burn to ash Let's disappear, leave this distance buried in the past It's not the moments when your lips are touching mine It's not the stolen minutes staring in your eyes It's not the evenings when I sing to you about what I really mean It's the time in between Yes, I've spent my life just wondering if I'd ever find the one The search is over now, but the struggle's just begun And whatever lies ahead of us, I know one thing for sure I've found the person that I've been searching for 
It's not the moments when your lips are touching mine It's not the stolen minutes staring in your eyes It's not the evenings when I sing to you about what I really mean It's the time in between Some old lover waiting on Something that will never come But oh, you find your side Do you want to live Or just be alive It's not the moments when Your lips are touching mine not the stolen minutes staring in your eyes It's not the evenings when I sing to you About what I really mean It's the time It's the time in between Love to that, the time in between Live by the amazing Stephen Tanner Music on Revolution Radio, and that's available from all platforms, isn't it? All platforms, yes. Brilliant, absolutely. love that. Now, we've come to a special point of the show, and it's for our quick fire quiz. And I can confirm in that, again, invisible earpiece, that this week's chosen subject is you. Oh, excellent. But there is a bonus. I, I've heard there's a rumor that you could do pretty well with this. I've got, I've got an inside knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Right, ten questions. Question number one. When you are not working, how do you like to spend your time? Um, I, to be honest, I'm working all the time. All the time. <laughs> I'm, I, I like to have a full-time job anyway. Yep. Yep. And I'm gigging. I'm, I've got a yes policy to pretty much every gig. Uh, the minute. So I'm all over the place. I'd, I can't really remember what free time is like. Uh, but if I get any, it's just sitting and watching something on TV. On TV and just, just relaxing. Yeah, not, just yeah nice. Relax. L- love that. <laughs> Question number two. What is the first concert that you attended ever? Even if it's embarrassing, it doesn't matter. Actually, it's not. It's not okay. embarrassing. I, I, well, I still love it to this day. It was, yeah. um, I went to Move Festival in uh, oh, wow. Manchester and saw R.E.M. Wow. And they were absolutely incredible. One love of the that. best gigs. Brilliant. Love that. You know, sometimes when guests come on and they say, oh, my first concert was uh, S Club or Steps or... I've done more embarrassing things, yeah. definitely. <laughs> definitely, no, that was a high point. <laughs> Love that. That's really good. Love that. Question number three. We're going to our all-time favourites now, and this one is, what is your all-time favourite film? Ooh, uh, oh, it's probably it's between two. It's okay. either That Thing You Do, which is a lesser-known Tom Hanks okay. film, yep. um, or Whiplash, I would say, which uh, is more, both music-based, but um, okay. really love Sounds Whiplash. good, sounds good. Yeah. And sticking with all-time favourites, what is your all-time favourite song? Now, this must be tough. Oh, man. Yeah, it's so, so tough, but I think the, the song I always come back to is the last track of Forever, Forever Ago by Bon Iver. It's um, okay. regarding stacks. It's called uh, Beautiful Song. Love that. Question number five. But this is another one of my favourite questions. Um, what is your first memory of music through your childhood? Oh, it's it's just been a constant in my life. I think my, that. my both my parents were well into music. My dad played a lot of instruments, and it's yep. just I just grew up in I that think, atmosphere. Yeah, I think you know we've we've said before on on other shows that maybe the music we listen to growing up stays with us and influences what we do later on. Um, but I suppose it, the same applies to if, if you're growing up and around you, your parents are playing instruments. I suppose mm. that kind of gives you the inkling to want to, Absolutely, want yeah. to play. And they, yeah, and they always wanted it for me. Yeah. They were always very supportive about it. So Brilliant. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. And this is a fun question. Question number six. If you could win an Olympic medal for any sport, real or fake, <laughs> what would it be for? What would you be <laughs> winning gold in? It certainly wouldn't be real, I can tell you. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know. I suppose, I suppose the only sport I really like, even though the Olympics doesn't touch it, is Formula One. So okay. The Olympics need to adopt Formula One. That's a good I idea. I need to trim down and fit into one of the cars. A nice car, yeah. And then, uh, then I'll, I'll love play that. the gold. That's good. You, you, I would happily have a go at doing that. <laughs> Perfect. Um, question number seven. This is good. If someone were to play you in a movie, who would it be? Um, uh, well. D- 
people often say I look pretty much identical to Bradley Cooper, so <laughs> let's go with him. Okay, I Bradley. See from your face, <laughs> that you agree. Bra- right? <laughs> Bradley Cooper, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Question <laughs> number eight: Where is your happy place? Um, okay, um, probably recording. Actually, nice. Um, yeah, we've got, we record in a studio over in Whiz Beach, Norway. Okay. Yep. Lovely setting, and it's just beautiful. I just love yeah. relaxing over there and then getting stressed about being in time. Nice. Yeah. Love that. And question at number nine, um, what is the best piece of advice that you have ever been given or what piece of advice would you give to someone? So it doesn't necessarily have to be related to music, uh, just general advice. Um, gen- uh, I suppose uh, if, if you're not hurting people around you, just do exactly what you want to do. I yeah. spent too long in my life um, doing, doing things that just I lost myself for a while. Yeah. And then recently I've just started... Music has centred me again. That's reminded yeah, me what I want th- to do. That's good. And it's true because if you, if you know, if you, I always try and live by that. If, if there's something you want to do and you've got an idea and you really think, you know, this is what I need to do. Yeah. Why not? Absolutely. We're only yeah, here once, aren't not? we? So. Quite right. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and finally, question number 10. Um, and I'm going to remind you that we're live on the radio because uh, who knows what might come out here. Mm. Tell us something that we don't know about you. An exclusive. Ooh, an exclusive. Right. Well, I, I'm a bit of a nerd. Okay. And, uh, I can solve a Rubik's Cube in, oh. in about a minute. If only we had a Rubik's Cube. Yeah. This could be a massive We actually life, don't. Um, <laughs> 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 I'll just show you the action. You, see. you can tell, you know. That's, that's really cool. Oh, yeah. There you go. Next time I see you, I'm going to make sure I ring make a Rubik's Cube. It, yeah. I'm going to track you down and come to a gig. I've got time to learn how to actually do it. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can. <laughs> yeah, that's Love that. <laughs> um, and you have scored 10 out of 10. Yes. Amazing. Nice. No revision, Our guests really. seem to do pretty well on this quiz every week. Yeah. Really good. Maybe I need to change the questions. Who knows? But no, <laughs> gr- great fun. Thank you for that. Um, now, how about another performance? I'd love to, yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. What have you got in mind? Well, I was, um, I'm was. i at the tail end of a bit of a cold. I was okay. going to sing something yep. that was a bit more adventurous, but okay. uh, I'm going to calm it down instead um, sure. to notes that I hope I can hit. <laughs> do you, no, do you know what? The, the last song, you, you know, your recent single that you performed sounded incredible. That's, that's good to incredible. know. Incredible. Thank you. So, yeah, do your thing. What, what's, what's up next? Uh, this is a song, um, it's, it's not as sad as it sounds, but it's called I Don't Love You Anymore. Oh, <laughs> heartbroken. <laughs> yeah. Take it away. Thanks very much. I try to remember you And how it used to be It was another life Maybe another me Think maybe I dreamt it I bet you wish you had Do you think it was worth it After the fact Hit me like a river Find its way to the sea I think it took you a walk home To forget about me And all of the memories you made me erase So we can pretend that they were never made It's been so long coming I thought the pain was ever more I can say it and mean it now I don't love you anymore Do you ever think about What could have been wouldn't have worked out the way it seemed Cause I was a dreamer, I was your escape And I'm thinking a mess of life was all that we'd make But now we can look back 
as the memories fade I know that at best it was our best mistake It could have been different But it's all turned out right The best choice you made Was disappearing into the night been so long coming I thought the pain was ever more but I can say it and mean it now I don't love you anymore And I know that I fall easy And falling out was never me That I've taken my time with it all And now I finally know that I'm free Been so long coming since you walked out the door. But I can say it and mean it now. I don't love you anymore. I don't love you anymore. Brilliant. Another amazing performance from Stephen Tanner. Thank you for that. You. And brilliant song. And also, during that performance, I was admiring this guitar. <laughs> I think this is the coolest guitar that has been in the studios. It's mad, isn't it? It know. really is. Absolutely insane. Yeah, it's one of those things. That it was a, an impulse purchase. Right. I didn't know how it was going to sound. I just bought it online. And I saw uh, it. Oh, so it, it... Loved it straight. Oh, okay. The, the, it yeah. already had the designs on it. Yeah, yeah, it was like a, a limited edition that uh, Fender did for a Oh, while. wow. Okay. I just thought... I oh. need that guitar. I don't care what it sounds like. And no, it that's great. Turns out it sounds pretty good. Yeah, pretty cool at gigs as well. Oh yeah, yeah. I get lots, lots of perfect. Comments on it. Yeah. Amazing. So your forthcoming album. Let's talk album. How, how's mm. all that going? It's it's good. It's yep. done actually. It's, it's done. It's, okay. It's already um, recorded. Um, the last thing that we're doing is the artwork that's just okay. been designed by a friend of mine now. Exciting. Um, so yeah, no, we, we'll be good to go towards the end of July. Not long. Not long, and there's in fact there's one more single before then that I'm releasing in June. Ah, then the album's okay. coming out, so I'm just busy, uh, busy, busy. Amazing. Yeah. We'll, we'll definitely be playing that on the show. That'd be great. Thank be you. Be perfect. Much. So, with the, h how many tracks on the album? It's t a ten track album. Ten tracks. Yeah. Okay. Per uh, have you found? But you obviously, I, I know that you you perform lots um, live in front of audiences. But have you found the whole process of coming back to solo? more exciting with the fact that you are working towards something you know you've got a goal are you yeah. the kind of person that needs to have that in the background to yeah absolutely yeah it's it's definitely nice to have that yeah that kind of get to give you that drive there. i suppose yeah 100 percent. yeah definitely and it's it's nice it's all, it's kind of nerve-wracking though because yeah like a lot of those songs i wrote about two years ago now yeah and they feel kind of old to me like so, some of these uh, like the one I just played, I wrote sure. a few months ago, yep. um, and it's just like I don't, I don't necessarily feel the songs as much as I did at that moment. Yeah. So there's a there's a weird delay in it, but um, it's nice when when you release them and people start reacting to it because you yeah. rediscover the love for them. Almost. Exactly, and also the thing with songs is, do you, I, I can imagine you know I'm not a songwriter a, a, at all, but I've always thought wouldn't it be nice for this you know for, for someone to release a song and then for obviously the audience to listen but to find out how they interpret that song yeah oh that yeah that's because i suppose really everyone nice. will relate it to something in their life yeah in, in a different way than than what you do when you wrote it exactly yeah that, and that's the way i always try and think about songwriting i yep. mean that you you say the most relatable things in a beautiful way but sure 
I think. And um, there's there's a lot of people around Northampton that do that really well, actually. Mm. Uh, like, we've got a lot of good songwriters around here. Definitely, definitely. Um, and that's, yeah, it's always my aim as well. Perfect. Yeah. So the album's on its way. Are there any live performances coming up? Loads and loads of yeah. live performances, yeah. Absolutely. I'll, b- I'll be playing on Saturday coming. I'm in okay. Skegness. Wow. Places. Okay. First time in Skegness. <laughs> nice. Let's see how that goes. Um, and fingers someday, crossed. Sure. Perfect weather too. Oh well, you know, fingers crossed. Fingers absolutely. crossed. We'll see how it goes. But Sunday, I'm in Northampton actually okay. at uh, the Hushed All Day Out, the Pomfret. Arms, oh yeah, Pomfret Arms. Yes. Amazing. So we'll we'll post some details. And s- to any of our listeners and viewers as well on Facebook, how can they find you? You're, you're all over social media, aren't you? I'm um, everywhere, yes. Yeah. So mainly Facebook and Instagram. It's Stephen Tanner Music. Stephen with a PH yep. in the middle, not at the front. Um, and uh, I've got YouTube channels. I've even got a TikTok channel. That's, TikTok. That's how oh. cool I am. <laughs> have, you, have you learned any TikTok moves? Oh, no. Oh, I'm, I'm not that guy. <laughs> Really not that guy. Yeah, Coming but soon. <laughs> well, Stephen, I wish you the very best of luck with your forthcoming album. Thank you. We'll much. stay up to date with all, all the information about the release and we'll keep all our listeners up to date too. And so all of our listeners, please do head over to Stephen's links. We'll post them all on our website too in the local music directory. Awesome. Thank you for joining us on Thank the show. Um, coming up on the show after 9.30, we'll be playing this week's top tune, and that's from Ed's Music. You'll be listening to the local music show on Revolution Radio. Revolution.